Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So, when I reviewed the Acura TLX Type S a couple months ago, I concluded that it was not a family car. The family car that you want to go for if you want a Type S is the MDX Type S. So, I want to find out today, is the MDX Type S worth it over the TLX Type S? We're going to find out. Alright, so let's get things started with the pricing and trim level. So, both of these are in the highest end trim level you can buy for a Type S. The MDX Type S comes in with the Type S Advance, and that is the most expensive Acura at $74,800. Now moving over to the TLX, it is not as fancy, but we do still have the top end Type S. We have Type S with performance wheels and tires, which will help it handle and perform better than other things like the MDX Type S. This is actually a lot cheaper than the MDX Type S Advance at $55,000. Alright, now let's continue with the styling. Both cars will have a very elegant but very aggressive and sporty design at the same time. Both will of course feature the open surface finished grille design with the same exploding diamonds from the Acura badge. One difference is that the uh, surrounds on the MDX are colored to match. And dive into it. Now moving the to the TLX, it TLX will have very sportier design with more functional Surrounding it. Now for the headlights, the MDX will have the signature jewel-eyed LED headlights with the LED turn signal and the LED fog lights. The only difference the TLX really has is that it doesn't have LED fog lights. Coming to the wheels, the TLX Type S will give you a shark gray finish with a split spoke design and red 14.3 inch Brembo bricks. Moving to the MDX, it features Acura's first 21 inch alloy wheel with a split spoke design. This will also have the red Brembo brakes at 14.3 inches. Moving to the side profile, both will have very sporty, blacked out designs that look very good against their colors. The MDX features lots of black against the profile, which looks very good. And also, the moldings will be in gloss black instead of matte black plastic. Moving to the TLX, it has a more sleek and sporty design to the side profile. And, well, it doesn't have as much black, but still looks pretty good in my opinion. The MDX Type S Advance has a nice feature of auto dimming for the mirrors along with heating, power folding, and blind spot monitoring. The only difference between the two is that the TLX does not give you auto dimming. The last thing that I will mention for the side profile is that the MDX Type S Advance does give you the actor first feature for an air suspension. And now coming around back, both will have tinted lights, quad exhaust, and a rear diffuser. But if you just saw earlier, like a few seconds ago, you will notice that the TLX does have the feature that the MDX does not have. It is the spoiler. So that, that wing looks super cool on the back of this sporty sedan. Now for the taillights, both will have fully LED taillights with the brake lights being chicane. And also, these look very good on the back of these cars. Now let's take a listen to the exhaust. I think the TLX will take the point here for the lower exhaust note. Now let's take a look at the interior for both of these Type S vehicles. This is where the TLX starts to lose some points. The MDX Type S is far more luxurious and that is why it is $74,000. So the door panel is made up of wood trim, real and fake leather, some aluminum, and some plastic. And overall, it looks awesome. So, you do also have the red contrast stitching to make up for no red seats on this particular tester. It's not to say that the TLX is bad though, because you do have some sportier materials like this really cool carbon fiber finish and, of course, the red interior color. 
But for the MDX, the luxury starts now. You have this really cool quilted leather seat design with the red contrast stitching, 16 ways of power adjustments, and a 9 way massage unit, which is first ever for Acura. Meanwhile, the TLX will use real perforated leather in red, black piping, and a black suede insert, which looks super sporty with the Type S badge, of course, in the headrest. You saw the difference. After startup, the MDX Type S will have the fully digital gauge clusters as opposed to the red analog ones for the TOX. However, they do have plenty of customization for the middle part. You do have a little dial on the right of the steering wheel that has a little eye above it to control your gauge settings. Coming to the steering wheels, both will have heated perforated leather uh, steering wheels with a flat bottom and a Type S badge. These look super sporty for this Type S models. And now coming to the materials, both will have a fairly good materials with the MDX on top. For the TLX, you will have soft touch plastic along the top, which feels like leatherette. Then you have this wet weaved carbon fiber trim with the red contrast stitching some more matte black plastic, and a little bit of gloss black. Now coming to the MDX's materials, you will have that leatherette feeling soft touch plastic along the top, some wood trim, open pour under it, lots of gloss black plastic, and like it covers all the buttons, a large amount of the dashboard, and it, yeah, you see, it attracts the fingerprints, it attracts the glare from the sun, and lots of dust if you don't clean it off right away. The rest of the center console will be in matte black plastic, and you do get a wireless phone charger on both. Wow. And now coming to storage, the TLX will have a fair amount of storage, but that's not really deep. So you will also have some USB ports in there, and an aux jack, and it will not have a second tier. Coming to the MDX, it will be a more versatile and Acura did lay out the um, features and buttons and all that stuff a little bit better for this MDX. It is a lot deeper and it has a second tier if you push the little button. You can put maybe a smaller phone, but my iPhone 14 Pro Max did not fit in there. Now taking a look at the backup camera, only the MDX Type S Advance gives you a 360 bird's eye view camera, while the TLX is just a normal one with this weird camera to the right of it. Now coming to the climate controls, both will have physical buttons and knobs with heated seats and ventilated seats. Now moving on to the infotainment system, they will both have Actor's latest uh, infotainment setup and design. So you have to control with a trackpad down there, and you don't have to like scroll around to get to a certain app. If you want navigation, just tap on the top left corner of the touchpad for navigation. It will also have split screen and um, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay for both. And to wrap things up, only the MDX Type S will have the panoramic sunroof, which is not available on the TLX. When it comes to the second row, MDX will throw in a nicer and more comfortable second row. Because the TLX, you only use the second row when you need to, like if you need to carry around an extra person from work or something like that. And the MDX is a family car, so it should have the more comfortable second row. You've got sunshades, which the TLX does not have, and the seats will slide and recline and they are made of quilted leather, like the front seats. So now, let's get in, and you'll see that I have plenty of legroom with this front seat slid all the way back and reclined a little bit. You also will have a hard plastic seat back on both, and these seats on the MDX will be heated. Now, there is a very special thing about the MDX's second row. You have this removable middle seat, which is also a center console. Now that is actually really good because 
if you don't need it there, you could just take it out and maybe like put it in your garage. And I've seen like cars like the Honda Pilot, you could actually stick it in the trunk. So this feature is really clever and it's super easy to do. And also you could actually put a couple phones in that middle area. But now let's go ahead and check out the TLX's second row. So as you can see, it doesn't look as family friendly. The tour panel is a lot simpler and well, you just don't have a lot of room. So like this passenger seat is not slid all the way back. It is not reclined as much. And you see at five foot five, I still do not have a lot of leg room. You do have the seat back and you do not have the rear climate controls or rear heated seats like the MDX Type S. To get that, you will have to step down to a TLX Advance, which does not have the nice powertrain of the Type S. But to make up for not having a removable middle seat, you do have a little armrest with two cup holders and a little tray for a couple of All right, this is the other reason why you buy the MDX Type S over the TLX, you have a third row. And getting in cannot be any simpler. You push the button and the seat will collapse and slide forward. You cannot do this with a car seat in place. But let me go ahead and get in here, close the door and all. And I do have a good amount of space with the seat at its normal position. Not a whole lot of space, but I can live with it. These are only two seats, so don't really be tricked by this thing in the middle. Amenities back here, not so great. You've got a cup holder. This is plastic. I love this felt lining though, for 2024. You also have a USB-A on both sides. That's basically it. To get out, you just push that button and you're out. And now coming around to the tailgate, uh, the MDX is more versatile, of course. You will actually have a hands-free mechanism where you uh, kick your foot under the bumper and it will open. So this is a really interesting uh, trunk design. So let me just get that out of there. You have a cubby on one side and a false floor. You're looking at right now 18.3 cubic feet of cargo room. So let me just put the camera down and then let me show you what you can do with this false floor. So lift it up, you have the false floor. You can flip it around or, well, you also have the hard cover, like it's made of plastic. So in case you go to the beach or something, then you can put all of your standing gear there. And you can also put it on the floor. So if you don't want things sliding all over the place, you could just have it firm in one spot. All right, so you also, of course, get to fold down the third row, and that will give you a lot more space. But if you want to fold down the second row, you will have to do it manually. But now let's check out the cargo space for the TLX. You simply push a button, but it is not as easy if you have a lot of stuff. You have actually a good amount of cargo space for the size of this car. So on both sides, you will have the cubby, but you do have the chassis bracing for the better handling. So it's gonna take up some cargo room. You will sacrifice versatility with this chassis bracing, but it is worth it for the handling. And plus you don't buy a TLX Type S for the versatility. So you can fit a couple things back here and it's not like a family car friendly, like family friendly for the cargo area. It's more like for work trips, but the MDX will get the point for the versatility. Now coming around to the hood, both will have the same three liter V6 twin turbo engine pumping out 355 horsepower and 354 pound feet of torque. All of this is mated to an upgraded Type S exclusive 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy comes in for the MDX at 19 miles per gallon combined, and to be more precise, 17 in the city and 21 on the highway. And for the TLX, it looks like it's better, but it's not. We got, so, well, we got 7.7 .7 miles per gallon driving around town in Sport Plus mode, 
which is horrendous. It is rated at 19 in the city and 21 on the highway, but for us, we got better fuel economy in the MDX Type S at around 15 miles per gallon. talk about super handling all-wheel drive because this is what is so important to the type s so super handling all-wheel drive has been upgraded for the type s because it has the ability to push power 70 percent to the rear wheels and of that 70 percent 100 percent to one single wheel and this will be able to take a corner 2.9% better. And also, this will improve snow traction and handling. This will actually almost act like four-wheel steering. So let's get into... Now for the dimensions, the Acura MDX will be slightly bigger and will have a width of 79 inches, while the TLX has the width of 77 inches. And the TLX measures in at 196 so inches for length, and the MDX the TLX Type S. Well, that's going to wrap up today's comparison with the Acura TLX Type S and the MDX Type S. So, comment your thoughts down below. Do you need to buy the MDX Type S because of the bigger family, or do you want to buy the TLX Type S for work, or do you want to buy both for the whole family and for work? Comment your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.